Good morning, folks. Got some excellent articles to cover today. Galactic dynamics, sun-like star super flares, and three papers on solar forcing of the atmosphere. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on the sun where it was very quiet until just this morning. The CME we are expecting has not yet arrived. NOAA's forecast appears to have overestimated its speed. We'll be watching for that today, and in just the last few minutes the departing sunspot flared one more time as it departed out of view at the limb. We'll check that out here. X-class event from this sunspot group as it heads back for its second run across the far side. Flaring should be reduced the next several days, again still waiting for CME impact to occur sometime today. First up in other science news is the newly discovered merger with the Milky Way. They have found that the most recent event happened a long time after they thought it did, when a minor system crashed into our galaxy and excited the system. They say they figured it out by looking at ripples in the galactic medium, and this rewrites the history of the Milky Way as far as they see it. Up next, we've got a sun-like star super flaring, and they say it's likely to have gone about 600 times more powerful than an X-10 event on our sun. Yet another example that proves that stars like ours can have periodic outbursts that go completely off the charts. And a reminder, we're overdue for the sun's version. Three great papers on solar forcing up next. First one here hits the solar impact to the Madden-Julian oscillation, and therefore precipitation trends in the tropics and outside the tropics. They peg these impacts down to intraseasonal time scales, and speaking of precipitation, they have found an 11-year cycle of precipitation in Nepal and tied that to the sunspot cycle. This follows up several others in the past, including ones on Nigeria, Greece, and the Caribbean from just the last two months. Lastly, we've got this one on the impact of tropical cyclones. They found that the declining phase of the solar cycle produced the most overall and also the highest number of extreme events, Category 5 storms. This makes sense because as we discussed just a few days ago, the declining phase of the sunspot cycle is when geomagnetic storm maximum actually occurs, the greatest impacts to Earth. This is a combined lagged sea surface impact from sunspot maximum with the solar storm peak about one to three years after that sunspot maximum has been reached. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.